The St. Petersburg International Economic Forum is taking place this week in the city. Many suggest this is a great venue for such gathering as the city was originally built as Russia's window to Europe and the wider world. In fact, the historic architecture in the city center, mostly Baroque and neoclassical buildings of the 18th and 19th centuries, convey Tsarist Russia's European outlook. But now the forum needs to look in other directions. The Middle East, Central Asia, China, India, Southeast Asia, and Africa. Strolling along the Neva River, one could easily find the hustle and bustle of the promenade. But after covering the St. Petersburg Economic Forum for decades, I think it's important to go more than skin deep and try to find out what are really on the minds of the people. So I spent an early afternoon with the assistance of my Russian fixers, standing in the middle of the street and walking into local landmarks, sitting at the street corner bench, talking to real people, hoping they will share their thoughts with me. And I was lucky. Europe can be found everywhere in St. Petersburg, said this freshman from a local medical college. Though things are becoming more expensive, it does not bother me, she said. Instead, she is more concerned about her exams in a few days than anything else. To look to Germany mostly, and then uh, England, and maybe Spain or Italy. Not so much uh, tourists from uh, Europe. Or something new for uh, the maybe for the tourist. More concert in uh, the square. I, don't know. I have to admit. It's a nice surprise that many of the people that I've talked to here in St. Petersburg actually have a China-related story to tell. For example, somebody's uh, family members uh, once worked in China, somebody studied in China, somebody's having a once-in-a-life dream uh, of hugging a panda. You know, the stories goes on. And some like this engineering couple even once worked in China for a few years and said it was an unforgettable experience. I used to work in China. We used to work in China. My, my sister was in China a few years ago for studying and for teaching uh, Chinese uh, kids. As a signature event, the St. Petersburg International Economic Forum is a familiar occasion for almost everyone I've met. Well, suggesting they are not interested in politics, they are not economists either, they do want to tell me that they do have questions to ask. The most important question is, when are we going to leave the dollar? In the next few days, on the sideline of the forum, I will be talking to policymakers, business community, and cultural and social leaders participating at the St. Petersburg International Economic Forum. Not only to bring you an update about the forum, but even more importantly, how people are contextualizing all the changes of the world today. I'm Tian Wei from St. Petersburg.